Hello everyone, welcome to Beginner's Guide. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to include dark mode and light mode on a website. So this tutorial you're going to learn on a button click how you can change the light mode to dark mode, dark mode to light mode. Not necessarily I'm going to teach you how to create this whole website design together with a dark mode and light mode. The reason is simple because I already have a tutorial to teach you how to create this simple web page using HTML and CSS. If you want, you can go and watch that video. I will drop the link in the description. Now the idea is to teach how to bring in this aspect of including the dark mode and light mode in this particular website. So this logic can be used in any type of website. It can be a simple one or it can be a complete website or it can be a responsive website or it can be a static website. The logic will remain same. So let us learn how to include this dark mode and light mode in your website. So before that, if you have not subscribed the channel, please do subscribe. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Now let's get started. I have a folder here within this folder I have the necessary images that I'm going to use for this particular project outside I have index.html file and style.css file let me open this one with my text editor I'm going to use VS code as my text editor so this is a shortcut for you to open this particular folder with a VS code text editor in case if you want to know as I said earlier, I'm not going to teach you how to create the whole design because as you can see them there, everything else is already here. Let me just show you what I have. So this is a HTML document. As you can see them there, I have included the typed JS CDN and then this is a menu section with a logo and this is a content area where I have the automatic typing together with the paragraph on the button. Down there I have a guy, there is an image at the right side and even when I hover on that image there is some nice animation. So this particular code will do the automatic typing and then the CSS for the same design is here. So this is a basic CSS that I have used in order to create that website. As I say that I already have the tutorial explaining each and everything step by step in case if you want you go and watch that tutorial i will drop the link in the description now we are going to create a dark mode and the light mode i'm sure that you can able to see this actual design this is a dark thing i'm sure that you can able to see now i wanted to change it to a light thing so i'm sure that you can able to see the icon here when you click this icon it will become a light thing now when you wanted to take it back to the dark theme there is an icon here click this one so that the theme would be in dark color so first we need to include these icons here in the right side corner so that when we click on that icon we can switch between the light theme and the dark theme so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to open my html document i'm sure that you have already noticed the icon is here on the right side corner top corner right after this menu item so after this menu items down there i'm going to include the icon so the source of the image is i have the folder name as images and then the icon is let's say dark and then for the alternate message i'm going to say dark and then let me just set an id for this and then let me call this one as a uh, let's say theme something like this okay now i have included the icon let me save let me open this one with my browser i'm sure that now you can able to see the icon here the size is too big so let us work on this icon so that we can reduce the size for that i'm going to my css file i'm going to target that particular icon with an id name called theme so after the U L and L I A. So here I'm going to use an hash because it's an ID. The name is theme. So let me set the width. So the width, let's say 25 pixel, and then cursor will be pointer. So let me save. Let me go there and refresh. Now I'm sure that you can able to see the icon here. 
but if you can notice one thing there is a big space between these menu items under the icon right so i want to move these menu items towards the right side i mean next to these icons for that what i am going to do so that navigation items are found in the ul and li so i'm going to the nav tag then li so i'm going to set the flex is one followed by i'm going to say text align will be right let me save and refresh so that you will see these items will be moved to the right side as expected right so what is next the next thing is when i click on this particular icon the background color should change to the light theme isn't it so so when i click on this one the color should change for the whole thing so what does that mean whole thing the background color needs to be changed to white so when the background color is white what does that mean even these menu items and these items that we see them here we need to change the color isn't it so let's say the background color is white if the background color is white and then you keep the menu items white in white color do you think that you can able to see the text you can't so when the background color is white you need to turn the color of these menu items to black so that when the background color is white you can able to see this item so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to make use of the css variables so simply go there to your css uh, maybe to the top let's say here i'm going to use the css variable property for that i'm going to use root so within this root i'm going to create two variables one for the light theme another one for the tag theme so i'm going to call this one as a primary this is how we can create the variables in css i hope you know so i'm going to call the primary color so the primary color let's say initially i wanted it to be white and then the second one is, is going to be a secondary color so the secondary color would be black i hope it's making sense so one is for the dark theme one is for the light theme so let me save go there and refresh to see the difference there is no difference here isn't it so because we have created these variables but we have not used it in our design so for that what you are going to do wherever you see white change that color to black wherever you see black change that color to white so that you will be able to see the difference so here is black isn't it so since i have declared the variable so if you wanted to use the variable you are going to use var inside it was black here isn't it so now i wanted to change it to white so what is the color for the white this one so dash dash primary color so this primary color is a white go and do the same in the rest of your design so go there so here there is a white so i hope you have already guessed this one needs to be changed to a black so we can change them to variable the black is secondary color just like that then from there go down is there any black and white here there is a there is a white here so again we need to change this one to a black it will be a secondary color and then there is a white here again we need to change this one to a black and then there is a white here change them to a black and then here there is a black so we need to change them to a white white is primary color right so i think that's it yeah we don't have black and white so let's save go to our website to see if there is any changes now you see because my primary color is white so you can see them here my primary color is white so by default it has become a light theme but the problem with this design is here it's supposed to be white isn't it so so i have to remove this background color from black to white so if i turn the background color to white even the text color has to be what the text color has to be black so that we can able to see so first let me turn this background color to white so for that we need to go to the anchor tag where is the anchor tag here so this color is for the text so this one is a background so this one has to be what primary color let me save go there and refresh yes now everything is in white even the background is in white but i can't able to see the text isn't it so if you want to see the text what do you need to do simple i hope you have already guessed so here the color of the text needs to be black 
what is the variable name for the black secondary color let me save go there and refresh now everything is perfect so this is a light theme the text color have turned black and the background is in a light theme now when i click on this button is there anything happening nothing is happening isn't it so now i need to write a javascript so that when i click on this icon the website would flip between dark mode and the light mode so for that what do we need to do here in my css before i create a javascript i am going to create a class name so the class name here is let's say dark mode okay this is the name of the class name as you can see then there, there is a dot in front so it's a class name so here i'm just going to flip these things around so for example let me just copy and paste them but here the primary color would be black the secondary color would be white why because dark mode who have the dark background isn't it so so the primary color has to be black the secondary color has to be white isn't it so that's that one we can call them as a dark mode isn't it so now go to your javascript file now just work on the javascript part so here is my script tag underneath this create a variable let's say let and then i'm going to say theme equals i'm going to use document dot get element by id so for the icon i'm sure that you remember we have created an id name here for the icon because when i click on that icon that's when i wanted to flip between the light mode and the dark mode isn't it so so i'm going to get this id name because when, so here i'm going to say theme so now i need to write the logic so what is the logic when i click on the icon so this icon is stored into this particular variable i'm going to say on click as an event is going to call a function so this function would perform the operation in such a way that the background color will change it to a dark theme when i click on the dark theme icon so for that i'm going to use document.body.classlist.toggle is toggle between the class name that you have them here what is it dark mode i hope it's making sense right so we are simply saying when i click on that dark mode icon go and apply these two colors into my entire document that is exactly what we are trying to say them here document dot body dot class list dot toggle toggle between these two colors so when i save this one let's go there and refresh so i'm going to click now it has become a dark mode so when i click again it's going to be the white mode why because it's going to toggle between i hope you can able to see this method name called toggle what does that mean it will flip between the dark mode and the light mode but the problem here is this for example when you go there and refresh again so when you click this icon this is like a moon icon when you click this one yes it has become dark but for me to turn it back to the light mode i need to change the icon because when you see the actual design this is a dark mode if you wanted to turn it back to the light mode the icon is different isn't it so so this one i wanted to turn it back to the dark mode so this is a icon so in order to do that what do you need to do here simply we are going to set the if condition if the condition is true bring this icon if this condition is false bring that other icon that one can be simply implemented using if what am i going to do i'm just going to copy this and then i'm going to paste them here in the if condition dot i'm going to use the method name called contains if the icon is the dark mode yes if the icon is a dark mode you know what you need to do you just have to bring the other icon because when it is a dark mode i need to bring in this icon isn't it so so that i can turn it back to a light mode i hope you have already guessed what needs to be done here yes i'm going to say theme dot source it will be i'm just going to specify the folder name images 
from the images what's the name of the file that i have i think light.jpg light.jpg or else i'm just going to get the that moon icon isn't it so so i think the name is dark dot i think the file is png file let me save this one i hope you understand the logic when you see the dark mode the icon has to be the light one when you see the light mode the icon has to be the dark one isn't it so so when let me save go there and refresh just to verify when i click this one now the icon has changed now it's a light mode with a different icon i hope now you know how to create the dark mode and light mode in your website so this is the same logic can be applied anywhere if you like this video do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel if you have not yet thank you so much